let's solve in problem number um, number 10. If you notice number 9, it, it has an error in the review that I gave you because it didn't print out uh, the point what is going through. It's just giving you the vertex but not the point. So it means there's, that one has some missing information. So we're going to skip number nine. So you, in other words, you don't have to do number nine. Okay, it's not gonna be part of a review. This problem says find a quadratic function that has the given vertex, it passes and passes through the given point. The vertex is negative five, negative three, and the given point is negative two, six. Since they give you the vertex, um, the formula that is more convenient for you guys to use is a vertex form, which is this one right here. This one is a standard form. You don't have access to insert the vertex here, but in this one you do. So we're gonna use this formula. We're going to start by um, writing the e the equation in vertex form, f of x equals to, let's see if it's everything there, f of x is equals to a times x minus h squared plus k. This is your h, this is your k, uh, and this is a given point. We're going to use it as x and y, okay? Let me change this to y. y is equals to a, we don't know a was given is only a h and k. So x, remember, plus 5 square plus 6. I'm sorry, plus minus 3. Minus 3 is the k. It goes with the sign. The given one, the given point is negative 2, 6. So these are the values we're going to insert in, in x and y. So we want 6 for y. 6 is equals to a that what we're looking for. We're almost done, so we just need a. x plus 5 squared. But remember, x now is negative 2 squared. Negative 2 plus 5 squared minus 3. So we have a simple equation here, a linear equation. What we're missing is, is a. Because this one is a constant. When you square it, it's going to be a constant. So we have a, uh, a linear equation. How do we solve for a here? Let me develop this. It's 6 equals to inside of parentheses we have negative 2 plus 5 which is 3 and then we have to square this minus 3. 6 is equals to 9, 3 times 3 is 9, a minus 3. We add 3 in both parts of the equation. Let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah. We cancel this and we have 9 equals to 9, a. Right? So what is next? So what is next? We divide both sides of the equation by nine. And let me continue here. Nine equals to nine a. We divide by nine, both parts of the equation. We cancel nine and a is equals to one, which is uh, what we need, right? So the equation is, y equals x is one time x plus 5 is 1 squared minus 3. Now if you notice in the back part of because uh, as you know all the answers are in the back of the uh, review so this is not the answer is not in vertex form the answer is given in a standard form so it's very simple. The only thing we have to do is develop this binomial square. So let me develop it over here. X plus five to the second power. We can use a rule, X plus five to the second power. But we're going to use FOIL because we reviewed this concept last class. X plus five times X plus five. So first, remember the, fir the um, First one, x times x, so it's going to be x squared. Then we have the outers, 
So that's gonna be all these ones. Here, one, this one, and that one. This is five. So we have five X. Then the inners, five X, and then the out, the last ones, which is this two, plus twenty-five. These two together give us. 10x plus 25 so we have to put this one instead of this binomial that's the answer of the binomial developed just to find the answer in the back we have x squared plus 10x plus 25 minus 3 and right here you notice these two are like terms so one more step will be y equals to x squared plus 10x plus 23, which is the answer in the back of the review. I left the answers there so you guys can check your work.